What's up guys, Lothric Paladin here. Welcome to another episode of my Elden Ring Weapons Showcase. As you know from the title and thumbnail, today I'm using Merica's Hammer. The way my Weapons Showcase works is that we will take a weapon, in this instance it is Merica's Hammer, and we will try to do our best with it in a series of 10 duels. Now these 10 duels are win or lose, so I will not edit out any of my losses no matter how bad or embarrassing they are. Um, so if I lose all 10 rounds in this video, that's just going to be the video. Now, on to the build. As you can see, our build is a split between Dexterity and Faith. We have 45 Vigor, 25 Mind, 26 Endurance, 15 Strength, 30 Dexterity, and 47 Faith. Now, it's actually 45 Faith, but I think that my helmet here is actually providing to Faith, which is nice. Not intended, but that's it's a good bonus. Along with that, we have America's Hammer plus 10. As you can see, it gets a B scaling in strength and a C scaling with faith. However, of course, this is a dexterity faith build, not a strength faith build. None of these videos so far have been completely optimized to the weapon I've been using. That's just the way that it is. I don't have time to create a whole bunch of new builds for every single weapon. Uh, and I'm not on PC, so it's just not viable. The armor we're using is purely for fashion. It is the Halig Tree Knight Helm, Radon's Lion Armor, Radon's Gauntlets, Lendale Soldier Greaves. I think it looks pretty good. As far as talismans go, we have the Bull Goats Talisman to raise our poise to 65. It's pretty low. It's actually lower than in the last video, despite the armor I used last video being lighter. Hooray for veterans. Uh, along with that, we have Shard of Alexander to greatly boost the attack power of skills. The skill on Merica's Hammer is what Radigan uses in the boss fight. Really fucking cool. We just have some defensive stuff right here. This is Crimson Amber Medallion plus two, which raises my HP, and Erdtree's Favor plus two, which raises HP, stamina, and equip load. Our Flask of Wondrous Physic, which I will be using in all ten duels, is uh, the Crimson Bubble Tier, which restores HP when near death, and the Holy Shrouding Crack Tier to boost my holy attacks. Along with that, I will try to buff a little bit here. I will be using Golden Vow and Blessing of the Erd Tree. Golden Vow for attack and defense, and Blessing of the Erd Tree for healing over time. Just to get uh, my guy a little tankier, because I'm going to be trading a lot with this weapon, I'd imagine. Let's start with the PvP. Alright, and who have we here? It's Melania! Ambers to Embers. Okay. Melania's doing some stuff over there, twirling around. Looks like a full Melania cosplay, no buffs, not even a crab, huh? There we go. Yeah, cool. Alright. America's Hammer is a go versus whatever this weapon is with the waterfowl dance on it. Boom! <laughs> yes. Melania goes down. First try. Good fight, Ambers to Ambers. Alright, and who have we here? Kingdom's Fall. Full veteran's armor. Rapier in the left hand, and the Pokey Pokey Halberd in the right. Maybe some Glintstone Pebble, I'm not sure. Let's see if they'll let me do this. Alright. I'm ready to go. He's been ready to go. So, full meta try hard build. We'll see how this goes. Probably not great, to be honest. Ooh, good. He's got it flame infused, so expect some flaming strike here. There we go. Oh, I, I did not mean to <laughs> hurt him while he was doing the L1 stuff. The L1 wiggle. Ooh, he got me good there. Okay, we did a thousand damage to him. I feel better about this. Yeah! Coming in with a running R2. Good, good, good. Very good. Ah, oh, yes! Good fight, Kingdom's Fall. Good fight. I will happily take the, uh, uh, what's it called? The draw. And what have we here? Chicken 9029. Looks like he's using some seals. Full bolt, bull goats armor. <laughs> this is gonna be a 
interesting battle, to say the least. Not sure. I think those are maybe the dragon seals. So, I gotta expect some dragon incantations here. Hey, one. Oof. I mistimed that pretty badly. One. Two. But he is staying really far back. Got a good hit there. Got him. <laughs> he used a very, very slow incantation on me. Thank goodness. Did a lot of damage though. Look at my health. <laughs> good fight, chicken. All right, and we have Marco Vesso, who's a very large boy, using dual Rumi's. All right. That's all I got. That's all I got. Let's go. Okay. So this is an issue that I have with the uh, America's Hammer, is that it's just not a very long-range weapon. And I'm, I am actually used to playing with more long-range weapons than this. Oh, I tried. Ooh, good hit there with the uh, charged heavy, I think that was. Ow. Good fight. Completely outplayed there and outranged, honestly. This is, <laughs> he's got more poise than me, and he's got more range. <laughs> it's not a great matchup, honestly. I'm surprised I did better against the full veteran's uh, tryhard setup. And who have we here? Asil Sekov. Interesting name. He's got a katana. Looks like the Uchi. Oh. I'm not sure what that is, honestly. Alright, he's got Vikes War Spear, Madness Build. Thought he was gonna stick with the Uchi for a second there. Whoa. What is that? I'm not familiar with a lot of these Madness Builds. Or, uh, Madness Spells, I should say. Alright, not gonna be able to trade with the Spear. Comes out too quickly. Come here, you! Yeah! Big damage! Good fight. That Ash of War is really hard to land, a uh, gold breaker, but if it does land, it fucks shit up. Alright, and we have Andre19RO with a big ass colossal sword. I think that's the one that's made out of, like, the... Uh, what is it? Crumbling Azula Ruins? Something like that. Alright, I am gonna try to throw a lightning pot to pop his bubble. Good. Got the bubble popped. Gold Breaker! Boom! We missed that. He did try to manually aim that one the first time. That was pretty cool. Going for crouch pokes. Honestly, not a bad strategy. Yeah! Got him with the gold breaker. I think he mostly just hit me with crouch pokes there. Just shows you how overpowered that move is, because everything else missed. We have Bong Water 4687. Full Crusader build with the Great Mace. And a shield. Mikey hit. Okay, we're good. Switch on over to America's hammer. Nice try on the um, backstep R ones. Very cool. Let me see if I could try it. Yeah, got him. I love that. I love that Ash of War. Even if it doesn't hit, it just looks spectacular. What is that? He's got me really low, I just realized. Holy crap. When did he hit me that hard? Damn. 
He's got his trades going. It's because he's got that bull goat's uh, greaves right there that I didn't notice at the start. Oh, now he's just trying to finish me off with a straight sword. Oh, and we're trying to parry. He's very good at dodging that. Hmm. We're going to have to try something a little different here. I missed a huge critical opportunity there. Got him with the gold breaker. Mistimed his roll. He's still got the um, the tier, I think, where he, he'll heal. Yeah, you were doing much better with that, buddy. Keep using that. Keep using that. Oh, I think that's Flame of the Red Mains. Oh, good hit. I don't like that one. What is he doing here? Ooh. Goldbreaker! Come on. Oof. Timed that incorrectly, unfortunately. This guy's good with his hammer. Good fight, dude. Probably the best battle I've had in a very long time. Really good fight, Bongwater. Alright, and we've got Kingdom's Fall again. This time, he appears to be using dual Great Lances. It's gonna be a challenge for sure. He's got range, he's got poise. Oof, okay. Whoa, that was cool. Ow. Okay. Gold Breaker! Yeah! Oof. Alright, he's got me in a roll catch. Ow. What? I... I'm surprised. I need to get some stamina back. <laughs> this guy is a real challenge for me, I think. Unfortunately. Gold Breaker! Flame of, uh, uh, sorry, flame <laughs> Flaming Strike, man! Flaming Strike! Holy shit! Get it right! Get it right, study, study Steve. Study Steve. All right, he switched on over to the one-handed move set. Oof. All right, maybe he doesn't like how I'm playing. I think I am being passive, but to to my credit, right? He's trying his best. Roll, catch me, damn it. <laughs> Random jumping attack. Come on, man. Oof. Oof. He's getting a lot of health back. I think that's from the physic. Come on, man. You gotta aggress. Make a make a move. Make a move, Billy. Not that one. Ah, he caught me with that shit. All right, well, good fight, I guess. Very hard. Very hard to uh, fight that. That was a bad match for me. <laughs> bad, uh, mismatch, I should say. It was a good fight. 100% good fight. All right, we have Abigail Obu. Interesting name. Got a parry tool in the left hand and a Leonora's pull blade in the right. Yeah, I get it, I get it. All right, ow, whoa, that got me. 
Okay. Reactionary. Causing bleed buildup. Here, have this. Yeah, baby! Running R2! R1! R1! <laughs> Run, just back up from that. Good fight. Albeit a short one. And for our last battle, we have Argonian Maid, R34. I hope that's not Rule 34. <laughs> Oh, gosh, it probably is. Alright, looks like we're ready to go. Doesn't like buffs. That's fine. Oh. I'll take the trade, I guess. Ah! Darn. Boom! <laughs> yes, I love that attack so much. Ow, 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 I don't know how to fight that. Good fight, though, uh, anyway, Argonian made. I have no idea how to dodge that. Every time it comes up, I, I just eat all of the damage. And that is all the battles I have for you for today. If you liked what you saw, please consider giving the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and take care.